Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxus 3D course from theory to practice. This is lesson 57 and in this example we are going to do a consolidation settlement analysis of a soft uh, clay soil layer using Plaxus uh, 3D. Uh, so our example is going to be like uh, this uh, figure shown in uh, this slide. We have a uh, uh, superstructure and uh, we will use a mud foundation for uh, this building and uh, this building is uh, uh, rested on uh, a sandy soil layer underlined by a soft clay underlined by very dense uh, sandy soil so we have uh, three soil layers uh, as we can see in this figure and the water table is located uh, three meters be below the ground surface so the problem in uh, this example we have uh, this uh, soft clay soil layer which is uh, 12 uh, meters and uh, due to uh, this soft uh, clay soil layer uh, we expect a high value of uh, settlement after construction of this new building so uh, so uh, this high value of uh, settlement in soft clay can uh, cause uh, the foundation uh, instability and uh, causing crackers and uh, structural uh, damage over uh, time. Uh, that's why in the uh, next uh, tutorial we will improve, we will improve uh, this uh, soft uh, clay soil layer by applying the uh, pre-loading uh, by pre-loading method to accelerate a consolidation uh, settlement and mitigate uh, post-construction settlement uh, problems and also we will have uh, four uh, construction uh, stages uh, as you can see in here we will have uh, the initial which calculate or determines the geostatic uh, stresses in soil body also in the second uh, construction uh, stage we will have excavation plus construction of mud foundation and walls and we will consider a consolidation analysis from uh, this stage and we assume that this excavation uh, plus construction of mud foundation and walls are uh, done in 30 days in one month and after that construction of uh, superstructure begins and also we assume that uh, this uh, superstructure is built uh, in uh, one years in one year in uh, 365 days and after uh, construction of uh, this superstructure we will uh, allow the soil to consolidate until it reaches uh, 90 uh, degree of consolidation uh, soil layers that's why i will add three layers the first uh, soil layer is uh, 4 meters and the second uh, soil layer is 12 meters so it will start from minus uh, 4 to minus uh, 16 and the last soil layer is uh, 14 meter so it will uh, start from minus 16 to uh, minus sorry minus uh, 56 okay and also the water table is located uh, three meter below the ground surface as i said i have already defined the materials so i will just assign the materials to uh, the boreholes the first uh, soil layer is uh, dense sand and the second soil layer is soft clay and the last uh, soil layer is a uh, very dense uh, sandy soil okay as we can see this is our uh, soil model and after that we can proceed to uh, structure to model the foundation and uh, walls okay i will click on uh, top view i should uh, set the z value to uh, zero i will create a random surface right now just like this one and uh, as I said the dimension of uh, the mud foundation is uh, 10 meter by 10 meter so I will uh, change in here minus 
10 by 10 and 10 by 10 10 by minus 10 and also minus 10 by minus 10 so we uh, sorry it will be minus 5 by 5 5 5 and 5 minus 5 and minus 5 minus 5 because uh, uh, the math foundation is 10 meter by 10 meters so uh, 5 meter will be in uh, this uh, uh, coordinate x minimum and 5 meter will be x maximum uh, like this one okay but as I said the math foundation is uh, located one meter below uh, the ground surface so first I have to make a soil volume uh, which is 10 meter by 10 meter and 1 meter deep to be deactivated in a, con a staged construction mode that's why I will click on this surface and right click on it and minus 1 okay and right now this soil volume uh, has been created I will hide uh, this soil volume temporarily uh, after that I will uh, convert uh, this uh, I will uh, convert this uh, or I will copy this uh, so I can uh, uh, first I have to uh, move uh, this surface to uh, uh, Z minus 1 because the foundation the math foundation is located uh, one meter below the ground surface and uh, after uh, that I click on this surface and right click on it and decompose into outlines so as you can see uh, there are four uh, uh, lines I select all of them and I click on uh, extrude and I will extrude uh, these uh, lines to Z uh, plus one and uh, these are going to be the walls of uh, or basement walls actually they are not basement walls they are just walls uh, as a uh, support against uh, the uh, lateral uh, soil weight so I click on apply after that I can delete actually I can delete uh, these uh, poly lines and also I can delete uh, these uh, points as well so uh, as you can see these uh, walls are going to be a wall and uh, this surface are going to be a matte uh, foundation and that's why first of all I have to uh, convert all of them all of these uh, surface to plate I click all of them and right click create and create plate and after that I have to assign uh, the matte foundation material to the this plate and also uh, the walls to these uh, plates okay 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 after that we have to assign the load uh, I will uh, click on uh, the math foundation and uh, right click on it and create a surface uh, load so we uh, assume uh, this surface load is comes from a superstructure so we will not uh, model uh, a full superstructure that's why we uh, convert uh, this superstructure to a uniform uh, surface load and we assume that uh, the loads come from the superstructure is about uh, 200 kilonewton per square meter okay okay I think right now it's okay and we can proceed to mesh okay we click on mesh and I will do some refinement so first of all I will hide these volumes and after that I will select all this uh, soil volume and uh, type coarseness factor as 0 0.5 again I will select it all plates and again 0 0.5 uh, I just uh, forget to do other uh, things I also want to define the interface uh, 
for the walls and mud foundation that's why I click uh, all the walls and right click on it and create uh, sorry create a negative interface and also for uh, the mud foundation you will uh, have a positive interface so after that we uh, proceed to mesh again I select all the surface and uh, type 0 0.5 and after that we uh, generate a mesh and uh, to decrease the tutorial time I will uh, use a media mesh uh, you can use a fine mesh it will be better so I will continue with this uh, media mesh and click OK okay the mesh is uh, generated actually we can uh, check or view the mesh as we can see this is a generated mesh as we can see we have excavation walls mud foundation so i close it and we uh, proceed to staged construction mode uh, i have already uh, defined this uh, construction mode and i think uh, everything is okay now so this initial phase uh, the second phase which is excavation walls and mud foundation and uh, construction of superstructure and consolidation we click on save we can also uh, select a point at the center of the mud foundation to draw a, a settlement versus a time so we click on uh, select a point for a curve as we know the foundation is located at uh, the center of this uh, geometry so uh, and it's located at one meet one meter below the ground surface so the coordinate of the center of the math foundation will be zero zero minus one uh, that's why i have to select a plate this is the nearest point at the center of the math foundation and we click on update we click on save again I think uh, everything is okay and we can uh, start calculation and see uh, the results so I click on uh, start calculation and it probably uh, may take uh, a long time uh, that's why I will uh, pause a video and uh, come back until uh, the analysis is uh, finished okay after a long time uh, the calculation is uh, finished we save the project again and uh, we can uh, go to uh, view the results so i click on view calculation uh, results after uh, uh, about uh, three years or 3.26 years uh, the consolidation the degree of consolidation can be reached to a 90 uh, percentage also we can uh, see that uh, at this time the maximum settlement is about uh, 30 or 28 centimeters so actually it is not uh, accepted because it is high value of settlement we can also uh, draw a law draw a curve for, for a settlement uh, over a time so we can click on curve manager and add new in the x uh, direction we will uh, select a time in y direction we will select a node which we uh, selected before and we will uh, select the formation total displacement in z direction and uh, click ok so we can see uh, uh, until here is the construction of uh, building or superstructure and after uh, for after 400 days we can see this is a, a consolidation uh, settlement 
uh, over a time as we can see it is about uh, 28 uh, centimeter and it is not acceptable actually because this high value of settlement can uh, cause uh, uh, structural damage and uh, instability of uh, the building so in the next example in uh, the next uh, tutorial we will uh, try to solve uh, this problem by applying by applying uh, by applying the preloading uh, method to accelerate uh, consolidation and mitigate post construction uh, settlement uh, problems as we know the preloading method is or pre compression is one method of uh, uh, soil improvement especially for soft uh, soil so we uh, in this uh, method we uh, apply a higher uh, or uh, a higher value of load uh, for example, if uh, the loads come from the superstructure is uh, 200 kN per square meter, we will apply uh, more than uh, this uh, load. For example, maybe 300 kN per square meter and uh, we will put uh, the load on uh, this uh, uh, soil uh, for a specific time. Uh, for example, maybe about uh, one year or uh, six months. Uh, until uh, all uh, pore water pressure uh, dissipate so uh, the soil layer is uh, get uh, more compacted after that we remove this uh, load and we start construction of uh, this building in this case the settlement uh, or post construction settlement will be uh, the minimum so in the next example we will uh, talk more about uh, preloading uh, uh, preloading uh, construct preloading uh, method for improving the settlement of uh, soft clay okay thank you for watching see you in the next lesson